yes. Uh, 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 the yes. Oh, oh, the yes, yes man. man. You're, you're here. The yes. Yeah. Oh, did, did you watch the show? Yes. Oh, so, so you saw the game then, right? Yes. Boy, that was a, that was a. That was a really exciting round because I started off so far behind and I almost made it back, but you then it just barely it. failed. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that weird principled stand that Justin took at the end <laughs> against playing game theory, did, did you like that? Did you think that was a good idea? Yeah. <laughs> oh, because you love watching people who are talented and deserve victory fail at the last at the finish line. <laughs> like the guy celebrating and breaking his ankle just before the, the marathon ends. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> All right. Well, uh, cool story. Anyway, see you later. <laughs> anyway. Hot damn. Hot yeah. Hot yeah. Hot yeah. <laughs> Hot yeah. 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 All the police and the firemen. Hot yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, know, I saw it when they pulled out on Lobro. Uh, uh, we have the exact same uh, uh, voice uh, thing. Oh, do you? <laughs> Yeah, I know, because uh, uh, you, you have the Roland VT3, right? Yeah, we do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I was so happy for you when I saw you got that, and I realized, like, there's no way. Like, we can't have warring sound. Like, I was just like, shit, I'll never. God damn it. Wait, are you kidding? Of course we can. But, yeah, like, <laughs> Let the mundo. Okay. Shit. Oh, I wonder. Let I, the mundo. Or do you mean personally? Uh, you have a sound like, I thought Lobro was hitting those sounders, and I'm like, oh my God, he's the greatest guest of all time. <laughs> so I'm not. Sorry, it was. Uh... Uh, uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. I get it. If you feel really sad, just show up in your own chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, let's take a look at some show titles over at nightattack.showbot.tv. This is uh, where we'll pick the name of the episode. Uh, hey, uh, Lobro, uh, uh, yeah. what, 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 did, what did you expect? And how <laughs> close was it? <laughs> Honestly, um, with with only having like, and, and this wasn't like, uh, I'm not being rude by saying this, only having like four or five days notice, I had no idea what to expect. I've, I've, I've watched the Night Attack show a couple times. Um, I asked a couple of friends who have been watching your show for years and all of them were like, there's no way to tell you what to expect. <laughs> they wouldn't even back our play. They were, all been, they were like, man, what do I look like? Somebody who can predict a coin flip? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Pretty well, much. Me, as uh, 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 from one half of the show, uh, we don't know. And by the way, <laughs> often we're upset. <laughs> like, like one or both of us uh, uh, call each other after and we're like, Hey, stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly haven't laughed this hard in ages. So oh. if that says anything about your show. So thank you. Dude, that makes that makes our day. And um, yeah, uh, man, I'm so glad. I'm, I, I'm so glad that that after a scant 10 years of practice, we've become uh, what medical experts would call barely approachable. Uh, <laughs> It's almost like a decade of media training has done. <laughs> so, I mean, taking our wow, lives. The, the self-deprecating <laughs> humor here is real. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, by the way, Sign uh, uh, mentioned, I guess he posted on. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. On r slash uh, translator. They uh, want a Japanese version of the, the lullaby end theme that we played there at the end of the show. So, uh, of course, he linked to Patreon where Patreon is down. So I'm going to say sign. You may want to um, link find to an the song. MP3 somewhere else. Um, so let's take a look at some show titles for the name of the episode. Uh, the top one is Hey Mom. <laughs> hey Mom's pretty good. Uh, we've also got Hot Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Night, uh, the so Night Attack that, Night that, that who might back. bankrupt Night Attack. <laughs> <laughs> I have Twitter in my cup is pretty good. Tom's Thumb. Where's Tom's Thumb? You're the Clazy Pig. 
Hey boss, the next generation. Okay, if you're gonna do hey boss, uh, uh, the next generation is pretty good. Okay, we'll green that one. Uh, Nine hundred and twenty-six. No, that's the punch yeah, mouth. Super. Or the, the not the punch mouth. The punch line. <laughs> Did you say punch mouth? <laughs> I said punch mouth. I <laughs> Somebody <laughs> once told me it's too much freaking money. I said I need this armor bad. So I got Task Rabbit right up on the case, and then she was really mad. Well, the <laughs> night you go to EPS and you ask them to ship it, and then they tell you it's gonna cost them a man a leg to get it down to Austin, and then you say, "Okay, well I don't care because I'm at a birthday, and I have to go say happy birthday to my dad." You won't know if your ma- wife's mad. <laughs> Yo, and then you're gonna be sad. Oh, hey now, you spent a lot of money on some armor. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but you're bad at estimating the cost. Only Brian Brushwood knows he's lost. Wow. <laughs> 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 oh god damn. Good god, Justin. Oh. I just have one question. Is has this a bit has this been pre-recorded somewhere or did no. was that They don't even like... do Smash Mouth bits. This was is not even live? a type of bit that, that was, they do. That was just him being him. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh. mic drop, he's out. Oh. Yeah. Look, uh, we, if it makes you feel better, we don't always land it. No, we don't. Then there's a lot of aborted launches. <laughs> I did not I see. I have a roommate watching the show, and I can hear them laughing from the other <laughs> room. <laughs> I didn't see Justin walk off screen, so I'm assuming he just fainted on stage. <laughs> he, wait, <laughs> he's, he's like, nah, I'm going like, to uh, nah, poop leave, faint. Leave, <laughs> oh, God. No. I was saying he was leaving it out, all the paint. Oh, oh, my goodness. All right, we have a few more. <laughs> Oh my god. god uh, I, love, your... I love this community. I love this show. Yeah. I love these people. Uh whale on whale me. Whale on me, fam. <laughs> Dar you show me. GTJ or GTFO. <laughs> <laughs> Stop your jog. Momenclature. Momenclature. Jeez <laughs> <laughs> uh, Crusades. Lonely people in night attack. Drunk on tweets. Facebook. It's clever. YouTube is Jägermeister. <laughs> that low bro lighting is pretty good. <laughs> in, in so far as we'll at least know which is the low bro episode. <laughs> Kit Kat jumper joint. Kit Kat jumper joint is real. Wow, deep cut. I'm going to click that one too. A whale of a story is. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's mouthfeel. Mouth Vice City night attack. Laughing low bro. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously laugh too much. That's the thing. Uh, oh, poop faint, huh? Look at that. Uh, A A B, all that was all about, all about Bonnie. Bonnie. That was a yeah. show thing, I think. Yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go back up to the top. See what uh, floated at the top here. Hey, mom and hot yeah. Are the, I think hot yeah is not big yeah. enough in this episode. Hot yeah was was us talking about stumbling across that last week. Yeah. So I like hey mom or hey boss the next generation. I like hey boss the next generation a lot because it it, it hints at the territory. Uh, and then also because like the moment you hear "Hey mom," then it's like, okay, well, where is this going? You're, you're like, now you've heard it. Yeah, I like "Hey boss." All right, we'll do. Uh, uh, although I am very partial to Attack Night, the Night Attack Night, who might bankrupt Night Attack. Uh, yeah. Um, I'd hate I'd hate for someone to go in uh, and spend the the first third waiting for that story. Although. And then, then you already yeah, kind of know. Happen, it happens up top. It does happen up top. Uh, uh, I, I just like the callback. But, but if I'm going to pick between the two, I would say, "Hey, boss, the next generation is is my consensus pick." But I just wanted to give a shout yeah. out to yeah. Attack Night, the Night Attack Night that might bankrupt Night Attack. Yeah. Well, awesome. Uh, thank you, Bobcat and Biocat, for the Attack Night one. Uh, is that you a want... sentence, Justin? Uh, all I heard was night attack, tack night, night attack, tack attack, night attack. I mean, attack. I know we're rushing through it because we've said it so many times. But there are two viewers. <laughs> it is the attack night, the night attack night who might attack night attack. Right, and so and, and, and the whole bit was that night was that we would say things, and then he would he would halfway stand up, and then we would we would we would adjust course uh, appropriately. And then he would sit back down, and we knew we were fine. But but he was always very close to attacking us. But he might. He might. He might attack. He, he, he attack. Never, you know, no. Nothing was confirmed. That's right. At uh, some point, look, we're going to do night attack uh, from the new studio, 
and the attack knight will be in the background. And we never know when the attack knight. <laughs> we should have a button that just makes it fall over. <laughs> or, or better yet, just have it in the background for a good, uh, always on one of the mannequins, right? Sure. And then one day we Scooby Doo it. And just somebody stays very still, oh. and then we bring up the the attack knight, and all of a sudden he comes to life, mm -hmm. and then you know so, we so, say hocus pocus alamogocus, and then he uh, comes to life. As someone in the chat says, "You might feel like you're having a stroke when you watch this, and that's normal." <laughs> uh, as Lobro says, uh, "Consult a doctor." <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna Actually, go. Actually, though, yeah. <laughs> it's a... All right, I'm gonna go write an email. Uh, and then we can play more. We have a bunch more of those Kit Kats. They sent me almost 20 of them, so oh, we can man. play some more of those after this. They're sending me some, right? Uh, uh, hey, Lopro, uh, I know we ran into each other at uh, TwitchCon for the first time, yeah. but where are you located normally? I am in Chandler, Arizona. Oh, shit. I know that. You know that. Nice. I mean, I, I, I've been around there. That, that, that's around the Phoenix area, right? It's just south. Yeah, just south of Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, that, that, uh, that's a, so that's... It, it, you, you just had the whole, like, snow random thing, right? So, okay, kind of, but no. So there, there's there been a few places in Arizona that got snow, which is weird. Um, but down here in the valley, it's insanely rare to get snow. Yeah, uh, like I did not see uh, any snow. There's usually snow in Flagstaff, right? I, I remember. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but that, but that's a higher elevation. Right. right? Yep. That's Phoenix, which is more in the valley. Yep. Exactly. Uh, my mom sat with Flagstaff for a couple years. She like kept threatening to move us to Flagstaff. Not that moving to Arizona is a you know <laughs> bad thing or whatever, but uh, uh, it just wasn't where we were when we were kids. But she was like, she kept like showing me and my brother, like, oh look, look at all the awesome weather that's. <laughs> But this is like we're kids and we're going up in Florida and we're like, what the fuck do we care? Like, like all we know is the reality that's in front of us. As far as we know, yep. 90 degree weather is just what life is. Like, yep. you have a concept of good and bad weather. We don't. Like, the world is pain. Like, like we are only experiencing new things. People like to shit on Arizona and say like, oh yeah, the 120 degree weather during the summer months. But the greatest part about Arizona is that like, any part of the year, if you're feeling too hot, you are a couple hours away from cool weather. So you can drive somewhere for a day or two for pretty good cost and get out of the way for a little bit if you want to. I, 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 would, I would say like like the nice thing about places that are um, you know south and get really hot is that there comes this time where it's like there's zero expectation that human beings are meant to survive. And it's like you're on a colony on Mars. It's like, no, you wouldn't just casually walk outside. You would stay inside a bubble and go from an airlock to an airlock and, you know, and get into your pre-air conditioned car as fast as possible. That's the civilized way to do it. Yeah, 100%. Um, pretty much everyone in Arizona has like a like a ritual when they get in the car because it's their way of getting the car started and on the road without having to touch the steering wheel. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, 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 it was too fucking hot. Uh, same thing, same thing. Yeah, no, no, you you definitely uh, either have, that's why like uh, uh, all, the, all the old people had like fuzzy uh, uh, drivers. Uh, uh, oh, is that why they did that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Because it would just like be touching a warm couch, like Arizona you know, weather is awful. Burn your hands because it's all like fake leather. Yeah, that plastic, man, that that would sizzle you right away. <laughs> you accidentally touch the dashboard, all of a sudden it's like a hot stove. Uh, no, Eureka Geek points out my my uh, noted aversion to snow. Uh, I I often say that if you are living in snow. You are a masochist, and if you are raised <laughs> children in snow, you're a child abuser, uh, because it is awful, and it is worse than heat. Because heat, you can just go from a thing to a thing. It is an unpleasant experience that you can uh, uh, mitigate with technology. There is no technology yet invented that makes you not wipe fucking snow off your goddamn car, or makes you not slide off the road if you steer your wheels wrong. When we invent that technology. I will say that there is no difference between heat and snow. But until then and now, one is worse than the other. I will say this. 
even though we have like 124 degree like summer days, I actually had to scrape ice off my window like two days ago. Yeah. Oh no, because that because it was crazy cold there. Like yeah. that was that was it was uh, actually uh, mid 30s. What? Yeah, that's nuts. No, it was what? snowing out here in Oakland. I, I walked across the, the lake one day, and all of a sudden there was, like, fucking snow on the side of it, which, of course, led everybody to take a shit in my mouth on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talk about how much I hate snow. No, I don't have a scraper. I live in Arizona. There, there's one yeah, yeah, day, and, uh, three uh, days you know what? out of the year I got to use a scraper. No, I don't own a scraper for the windows. We nope. get we get fairly maligned in, in Austin and Texas in general because when there's like freezing rain, the one day of the year that it's there, uh, all of our cars instantly crash into each other. Uh, if there's a <laughs> dusting of snow, we cancel everything. Um, but guess what? We don't have the fucking infrastructure, uh, the lifeline of, 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 of poisons to put all over our our roads that ruin our cars and and make everything brown and shitty looking. And so instead, you know, oh, yeah, today's that one day out of the next four years. Uh, we're yep. going to take it easy at the Winchester. Pretty much. Yeah, that's good. Like Arizona. All right. So now we've stunted on snow enough. Uh, uh, Y'all can eat shit. We win. <laughs> <laughs> I was super freaked out, uh, like, the first month I had moved to Austin because I think that was the the first like big winter vortex year. Yeah. And so uh, like like a week after I moved into that first apartment I was in, like my car was all iced over and there was snow and stuff. Now, uh, now but was... wait a minute, but you came from a place where that's a normal thing. True, but um, uh, well, not I mean that part of Virginia does get so sometimes, but also I was like you know 22 or something and i didn't i didn't have a good car i oh, definitely yeah, didn't have yeah. a scraper snow it, it, it's like when like morning show djs or people who have like are on good morning america leave that they're like mm -hmm. oh yeah you never really get used to waking up at 3 30 in the morning there are just things that humans aren't supposed to do you <laughs> yeah. ever like you don't go back to snow and you're like oh great now here's this muscle memory about wiping off my car and doing all these things no it's it's not a normal human behavior. Not to mention, I didn't even have a scraper in Virginia. I was using a Kroger card like an asshole, not even thinking uh, I could find something like a bra a broom. I mean, okay, what's funny is is uh, I I I think the Freeze entire time I was touring, I think I always did it the same. It's like, oh, is there literally anything that needs to be done? Uh, turn on car, set to hottest everything. Mm -hmm. Come back in 15 and everything's uh. all down. Or, or better yet, um, in a rental car, mm. because I know that I don't have to deal with the consequences. Like, guess who keeps hitting that windshield wiper fluid just nonstop? <laughs> oh, a whole gallon. Just keep on washing. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, I, I, got, I, I could see like, hey, man, that's enough for a tank. Good enough for me. It'll just get wider <laughs> as I continue to use all this washer fluid. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. Oh, we have a winner in our belt bet tonight. Uh, uh, Sign is, is running the belt bet. Uh, he's got it so you can uh, bet without even uh, needing the cryptocurrency. This week, uh, his conditions was with Lobro on the show tonight. It's time for the boys to be nice. Saying something positive about someone or something gets them the belt. Jury won this one, even though he was uh, he was not quite the favorite. Oh, because you were the last one to say something nice. Yeah. 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 Oh, said way more nice things. You know, it's it's not uh, cumulative. It's it's uh, yeah. I think I think I think what that graph depicts is the amount of time that I had the belt, but you ended with it. I think the blue. Uh, oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I think the blue is how many fake coins were bet, and the green is how many free votes were cast. Ah, I believe that's the case. Okay. But, uh, oh, okay. oh, so so people were expecting Brian to end with the belt. Yeah, people bet fifty fake coins that Brian would win over twenty-five for Justin. Nice. So there we go. Congratulations, everybody. You gonna do? I don't know what happened, but congrats. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, 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 man, Lobro. I, I, I wish you could time travel and see the joy on our face the first time we were sent a screenshot of a photograph of an actual Vegas casino with Vegas odds on the big board about our podcast about who was gonna fuck up the thing first or whatever and they were like it, it's it's having a legitimate vegas bookmaker as as a fan is the best if you have the That's means awesome. i highly recommend it yes 
That's I'm gonna, really funny. I'm going to see if uh, I can pull up uh, an old one because he's DM'd oh. me a few. Uh, Lobro, you seem like a karaoke guy. Would, would I be right in guessing that? I've literally never done karaoke. I'm never scared, have. Scared shitless, Justin. Ah, <laughs> maybe one day if are you, if you're going to TwitchCon this year, maybe you can. I am. You can, maybe you can convince me this year, but like <laughs> it scares the crap out of me. But maybe. I mean, yeah. I'll tell you what. That was that was one of my favorite uh, times at TwitchCon last year. Was was doing the a party karaoke room, and I'll All bet right. you that we'll be able to do it again in San Diego. So uh, definitely, you're you're in. You're in this time. I'm looking I, forward to seeing I, you there. Imagine your your karaoke song. Oh my God! I don't even know. I don't even know what I would sing. Uh, well, I mean, what, what do you like? Like, what what is your what is your genre of choice? Like '80s music. Yeah, you I listen to like a lot of that retro wave myself, stuff, that's right? Great karaoke music. <laughs> okay, I just can't bring myself to do Journey. Like, obviously, every, that's like the first song everyone does. Is what? But don't stop believing. Obviously, like that's the song everyone does. But I do love a, a good '80s song. Uh, okay. I don't know. Probably Damn. something Queen. Maybe what? Pick me up before you go go. I would sing the shit out of that. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Oh yeah. Or maybe some Tears for Fears if you know like Shout or um. Here we go. Uh, Everybody wants to rule the world. Yeah. Good shit. Yep. See now 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 <laughs> it's flowing. Now. <laughs> yeah, probably Tears for Fears because they're they're my favorite '80s band. Uh, dude, yeah, no, that would crush. That would crush. And then, of course, you're gonna have to hear uh, fucking Bryce uh, uh, <laughs> sing his perfect Japanese fucking uh, karaoke. Is that what this was? A long flight <laughs> to slam right. me? Hey, by the way, can can I place a dollar bet right now? Uh, I'm gonna say that even though you forewarned that okay. that the American selection is not as robust not as robust the, as the, as the uh, East Asian one. Yeah. Um, I, I will bet a dollar, Justin. That despite having a very small selection, only having one hollow note song, sure. somehow it will have the Fresh Prince, A Nightmare on My Street on there. For some reason, that fucking song is in every karaoke book ever. Uh, and, and we, uh, I, I'll bet you a dollar on so that. So you're betting that it is. It I will be in there. It will be in there. Justin, would you take that bet? Uh, I will. I will take that bet because I actually had never heard that song until Brian uh, uh, did it at karaoke while we were in Vegas a few uh, months ago. Which, by the way, we very quickly figured out it's such a slow hip-hop song that it's much more fun to just freestyle over. So I highly <laughs> encourage you to just load yeah. it up and then just don't look at the words. Just talk about the things you see and make sure every word rhymes with me. <laughs> hey ho. <laughs> Nightmare on my street. Hot, yeah. Hot, it, yeah. It is, it, is, it is Will Smith's Kubrickian uh, effort. Like, it lasts uh, uh, not a shade over two and a half hours. <laughs> hot, yeah. Hot, yeah. That's, well, like, hot, uh, that's like the Pokemon theme song. Someone always picks the Pokemon theme song, and then everyone realizes that's like a four-minute song. Yeah. <laughs> and no one knows the second half of it. Well, <laughs> Like we, uh, oh jeez, yeah, we had talked about it before. How I used to uh, uh, bomb bars before I left by spending money at the at the jukebox and oh, triple sure. playing Confusion, which was an eleven minute track. <laughs> eleven minute. That's of just blade one loop. Track? Yeah, yeah. The blade. yeah. It was an eleven minute blade track of one loop, <laughs> <laughs> and I would do it selected three times for a dollar. <laughs> uh, Peter says, "Are you planning any karaoke at TMS Vegas?" Uh, yeah, no, we know we know a great room. In Vegas, so uh, uh, if, if if people are into it, then we can definitely hook that up. Hey, uh, you ready? You ready to do a little time traveling? Sure. Uh, let me let me take you back Hit to this June twenty eighth from what oh. four, four years ago, I think. June. Oh, oh yes, this picture. Yes, uh, this is from twenty sixteen. Yeah. Wow. Uh, we showed it briefly on screen here. Yeah. But here, take a look. This was. Uh, I think this was at the last casino or the last hall, the last betting hall. Yeah. This. Is, this yeah. Correct. But uh, that's uh, awesome. Night but, Attack presents a good old fashioned maritime challenge of state capitals. This was, oh, yeah, oh, this was, oh, Nelson oh, was the favorite. Was... <laughs> <laughs> and you're goddamn right because I spent all day studying up on my state capital. <laughs> oh, right. You studied for that one. <laughs> I studied hard. I listened to, to, the, uh, uh, to the Animaniac song a whole yeah. bunch of times. <laughs> uh, I was ready. Oh, my God. I'm never going to. Oh, gonna... God, we were both trying to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I knew I knew that 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 uh, uh, the, the I had to be the heel, right? Which meant get everything right and and, and be annoying. 
Uh, LC Knight says that uh, the Fresh Prince song that you guys mentioned is in their local songbook. Wait, which one? The uh, Fresh Prince yeah, I'm, Nightmare. I'm, I'm telling you, for some reason, it's in all of them. So even yeah. though, and nobody picks it because, like Justin, nobody's heard of it. Uh, and part know. of the reason for that is because they legally had to destroy every copy of the music video ever made. Uh, did we talk about this on the air? No. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, I mean, we, we, we talked about it in the room, which yeah. I'm assuming is on air because literally it was us talking. Uh, yeah. So Nightmare on on my street. They did a video. Uh, now in the video, you you notice they never call him Freddy Krueger, and they, they I think they they get as close as saying Fred. Um, oh but, my gosh. Uh, but yeah. So look so, at this disclaimer. Yeah. This Nightmare is, on My Street is not a part of and has not been embodied in the soundtrack of any Nightmare on Elm Street motion picture. picture. Neither this song nor this video is authorized, licensed, or affiliated with the Nightmare on Elm Street films, New Line Cinema Corp., the Elm Street Venture, or the fourth New Line Heron Venture. Yeah, no, <gasps> they, uh, uh, New Line made them, they, they won the lawsuit, and they had to destroy every physical copy, and like, uh, like an E.T. cartridge dug out of a, 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 a ditch, this thing survived and got uploaded to, uh, to YouTube. It's so oh, slow. It's Listen. Really slow. My God. Anyone can rap to this kind of beat. It doesn't matter what's on your feet. You can have flip flops or shoes of any kind. It's not hard when you got time to rhyme. Here's some old footage of a bloodletting. That's real funny. Now I'll sing. Do 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 do. That's the chorus thing. <laughs> This, this video is so aesthetic. Though. Hey, man, Just the new fun. Aladdin is going to be great. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's wearing, like, the sleeping hat, too, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at how much effort they put into this, and then they had to destroy all well, of it. It, it. This was in that era of, <laughs> like... Uh, super physical comedy, like like it was it was very much in the like parents just don't understand, like kind of vein or like I think I could beat Mike Tyson or. Oh wow! Actually, I wonder if that's the first time they did because that was the 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 move from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air uh, intro. Oh, with the the chair. Uh, yeah, they, they, they had done the, the the flipping upside down. That, that was the um, the parents just don't understand video. I think oh, was was most of where it. that came from. Was that before? Was this before or after that? Uh, the the he had the hit album. Uh, he's the DJ. I'm the rapper, and yeah. uh, including parents just don't understand, don't understand. and uh, also this um, man. This is one of the first. Uh, like my dad went to America while I was in uh, Norway, and I said, "Can you pick me up this album?" And then dad was just like, I think I got the right one. Here, kid. <laughs> and then I listened to the tape a lot. A lot. Look so at that. even though you freestyled, you probably could have, like, nailed this? Uh, oh, no. I, I, I only remember, like, a couple of wild lines here. Oh, okay. Boy, look at that Kmart. Uh, uh, mask. Oh, the God. The mask just, like, ends at the, like, at, at the scruff of his neck. But also, like, this, this sincere attempt to not violate copyright, even though it's clearly about this movie franchise. Yeah. yeah. Wowzers. There you go. Oh, okay, yeah. Because so, so they're like, all right, we can get away with the glove. And literally nothing else. <laughs> uh, and it turns out they couldn't get away with any of it. Oh, on November 2018, a mastered version of the music video was finally released on YouTube via DJ Jazzy Jeff's Vivo account. Oh, somebody decided, Is like... Is that real? That's amazing. That's crazy. All righty, well. Dave Harbour. Well... <laughs> line. Oh, wait, who owns that? Weinstein? Get fucked. Everybody, <laughs> good guys win in the end. Oh, you know what? That might have just been the music. That might have just been the song. Oh, no, this is music video. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, suck a dick, wine scene. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. This is, this is very specific flex, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Also, by the way, what's that Hearthstone deck? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, no, it's great. Um, oh, I closed. Here, I saw you uh, screen capped it. And uh, no, no, I, 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 I sent it to uh, Whiskey Wolf, and so I'll just forward it over to you. Um, Can I just open your deck tracker and that'll have it on screen? Maybe. Instead of being uh, in my email? If, if, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, if, if it's there. If it's there. All right. Do you, uh, are you a Hearthstoner at all, Lobro? Uh, I, uh, <laughs> Hearthstoner or, uh, Hearth? 
Well, just a Hearthstone Stoner. player. So anyway, I <laughs> used to play Hearthstone a little bit, uh, so I know the game. I'm just not super familiar with the recent updates, maybe. But yeah, I know the game. I played Magic for years, right, so I, I kind of understand the concept. There you go. Yeah. Oh, it, it, it's the, uh, uh, I think it says HS Replay is where I got it from. Uh, I think it's the one that's well, selected. Kind of if you scroll well, down, kind of it should well, be highlighted. Kind of Oh, Odd yeah. Paladin. Yeah, HS, HS Replay. Yeah, notes. look at that. How do I... 35 wins, 16 losses. Uh, all right, so here it is on the side. And that's uh, that's actually, I, I had a few more wins on the mobile, but it wasn't tracking. A mobile. lot of low-cost cards. So yeah. Odd odd Pally? Uh, yeah, so it's an Odd Paladin. It's got a lot of low-cost cards, uh, specifically because it's got two, like, money banks. If you get Witch's Cauldron... Because you're summoning all those guys, and every time someone dies, you get a um, a uh, 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 what do you call it? A, a shaman thing. spell. Uh, and then, uh, uh, and I've the other been playing this aggro mage, which has done very well for me, but and eats up this deck, but is eating ass against some of the other popular decks that I'm sure this deck does well against. Uh, the other the other thing you're hoping for is that uh, that five drop that takes all of your one drops and changes them into legendaries oh. yeah. so uh if you get either of those is uh, that new it's it's super strong if you're if you are the first player and you have something to play on turn one odds are pretty good that you you got this thing locked up you just go uh, you know hard to the face and uh and then they don't even know what's happening oh, hard to the face hard to the face hard to the face hard to the face oh plus so, also you get I don't the. I uh, remember uh, what kind of deck I played. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, how long has it been? At least like two years, three yeah, years. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, for for a hot minute, I was losing all the joy, and then I discovered the joy of starting at the bottom because uh, I had been on wild ladder, and I think I just reached the top of my ability at around rank four, right? And mm -hmm. I couldn't break through. And now, like switching to standard ladder and being all the way back at like twenty, it's like so fun to be like kicking a bunch of kids in the nuts. Like fuck you, yeah. kids! You won't have money. I'm an adult. I've got all the decks. So has this resparked the the fire? Yeah, it's I've been noticed. Good. I've noticed Hearthstone's been open a little bit yeah. more lately. Well, and and especially because uh, like uh, I had to play catch up on on all of the TV watching that we do for Cord Killers. Yeah. So I, I've had legitimate reasons. And then, well, yeah. uh, <laughs> I ran. Uh, I ran. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I ran. Nine miles today. Okay. And uh, Ryan, that's uh, actually uh, awesome, what? by the what? way. You run, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, tremendous physical achievement. Uh, <laughs> but Brian, why did you run nine miles? Because I could Because either... they were chasing him for four and a half. <laughs> yeah. Well, I told, at every point I was running, I thought, uh, okay, my entire day today is I need to handle emails. And I thought, no. Or I could just keep running. Oh. <laughs> and then I figured out, I went out so far that, like, um, I figured out that I could play Hearthstone because I was too tired to run nonstop. So what I would do is I would run during their turn <laughs> and then stop and walk during mine. And then their turn, I would run for another three. So I was doing uh, high, inter uh, high intensity <laughs> interval training. I was doing hit training. And uh, 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 it was very effective. Was, it was this super effective? This is at the gym, though. This was not like in traffic. No, this was it. this was this was in the neighborhood next door. Oh, uh, yeah. No, so do you do better. like circles? Uh, yeah. Well, I, I I run out. It's like um, you know, like there are, it's it's loops with like loops. various okay. off off ramps. Like okay, you yeah, can yeah, decide yeah. to turn around at any moment. Okay. okay but then okay. I'm you know you're feeling it. Yeah, I know. I I've, I've run in Brian's neighborhood. It's like deceptively long if you keep following the outer path but yeah. you can help is cut in okay i was i was just because there's a highway right there like yeah what oh, does no, no, nine no. miles from here look like no that's where the, the the highway is where i, I ran and you run that highway it's fairly terrifying yeah. like people, people <laughs> really can open it up down uh down down old 290 yeah yeah no, I, uh, yeah, that's where I, I, I now only walk along the side of the road. Like I'm not even comfortable trying to engage in physical anything on, on that 290 stretch. Yeah. Um, I, I used it. to, I used to jog in the grass next to it, uh, until I stepped in a gopher hole and, uh, and fucked up my ankle, you but good. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, by the way, MD dog. The highways is where I ran most of my days. <laughs> <laughs> and that highway is scary because there's not like, like a sidewalk or even like a shoulder. It just all, for most of it, just goes into a ditch or it goes, it angles down, right? On, on 290? Yeah. Or, or uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, 
you know, I would imagine yeah. at least running wise, you would want a flatter surface. Or... Yeah. Oh my goodness. But no. So. Oh, so wait. Uh, can I give uh, this little detail? I have no idea whether or not it's going to pay off by the live show South by So Wasted March 9th at the North Door. Get your tickets at podcastlink.com slash night attack. But uh, <laughs> on a, a, a uh, Diamond Time a few weeks ago. Uh, there was a story about a guy or a guy wrote in and said, hey, look, I'm selling my magic collection so I can pay for my divorce. Uh, magic, the magic the Gathering. The card, magic the magic Gathering. Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Magic the Gathering collection, right? And I immediately emailed uh, Jomo from the Possum Posse, and I'm like... <gasps> This needs to be a possum posse song. Like if I've I, ever I think you did it live it. on the air and then made a bit about live it. Live on yeah. the air. Yeah. Got an email back <gasps> the next day asking like, oh, like so again, like cause I'm I was you know, in the middle of the show writing. Sure, it. sure. So it might have been a little I think I just sent him the link and I just said song. Like <laughs> <and> he, <laughs> But he said, uh, I said, like, oh, no, there's got to be a country song about uh, uh, the guy who, you know, sells his black lotus to get over her black heart. <laughs> uh, and uh, he's like, absolutely. I'm on it. And then I, 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 I would imagine the next phrase is, what's magic? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, you know. I feel like Jomo's in on it. Jomo knows. Yeah, Jomo, Jomo, Jomo knows. will find out. He'll, he'll, he'll know more than we do. People don't know Jomo's minutes. a tech guy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he definitely wrote an entire song about fucking uh, cloud storage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the farmer's cloud only storage song. and lonely, uh, lonely uh, singles. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, the night the night that uh, uh, it rained on farmer's only and the cloud went down. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, have you guys seen this video? No. This is a very, very good video. I'm going to pull it up here. Okay. Uh, okay, I, I'm going to go in on Knight Rider. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Knight Rider. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we've got some windmills here. Oh, this one has its restrictor disabled and it's getting blown. What the fuck? Oh, Horse is running away. What? Oh. What? what? Damn. With That's the horses running away? I know. What? Perfect. That was a smart move on those horses. Oh. The animals oh know, Oh, my man. God. It just imploded. Yeah. It just blows up. Animals also, know, man. Also, by the way, a great design <laughs> on that windmill. <laughs> that, like, when it was blowing out of control, it just kind of disintegrated as opposed to, like, Flying into the house. Yeah, that's true. Easy, easy. Turns break. into a giant propeller and just starts <laughs> flying around like I'm free. I love that Justin was like immediately in tune with the whole like uh, least worst case scenario situation. Well, because I mean, like, it must have hit something. There, there's a couple of the highways in California if you're getting out of the Bay Area where they have these gigantic wind farms, and you kind of always wonder like. Oh, uh, uh, what happens if a gigantic spinning blade of death is <laughs> toward you? Of course you would ask that. I'm interested, too. I, I need yeah, to of course. I mean, <laughs> when, when do you see a slowly spinning blade of death and not wonder what happened if that went fast and killed me? Oh, Man, God. that was crazy. Dude, that's crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. crazy. <laughs> Uh, how to an, breach a door? How to breach a door? You guys want to know how to breach a door? Yeah, that seems like something a modern rogue should know how to do. Right, well, let's see how to do it. Hi, I'm Carl, and we're going to talk about how to properly kick open a door, right? But you want to get your foot as close to the center, right there. All right, pick your site where you want to put your foot. Get the fuck out of Kick that room puppy open. Piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. One, one more, more time. time. <laughs> it's oh, it's so quick it needs a replay. Kick open a door, right? But you want to get your foot as close to the center right there. All right, pick your site where you want to put your foot. Get the fuck out Kick of that room puppy and open. Piece of cake. <laughs> Piece of cake. Uh, so, 
Penny uh, was upset because she had to conserve battery last week. And she said, I had to conserve battery and I couldn't even listen to my thing. So I had to listen to your podcast. <gasps> and then it's like, and then she goes, I think the Carmen San Diego remake is great on its own. <laughs> and I had never even saw the old version. So yes! I don't know. Vindicated! <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, like like she's continuing to talk, and all I'm thinking is like like I'm fading out, and it's and and the voice says, "You need to move this show the fuck out of this house so fast." <laughs> <laughs> like they are listening now, and away we go. <laughs> oh wait, oh listening like she could <gasps> hear next door, and is possibly hearing now. Like I hope she's asleep. Okay. So and anyway, you, and I told that shopkeeper that honesty is the best policy. Indeed. Indeed. Good show, good sir. <laughs> good show. <laughs> I'm glad to hear someone is in my corner on Carmen San Diego, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like my my issue wasn't I haven't seen it. My issue wasn't that it was bad because mm -hmm. I've seen it, but like my issue is that there are elements. If you're going to reboot the franchise, there are certain core elements that a legacy viewer of that property would want to see, and that is primarily Rockapella's involvement. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there is true. Yes, we we've hashed this all out. There is no Rockapella, and Carmen San Diego no, is Rockapella. Is like an I, I, I honestly could not give a fuck if Rockapella is not involved. I mean. Uh, even if, it's a even hard if, pass. Even if, like, like they're, they're, they're four bungling henchmen who, who you know, you're constantly catching them, you know, at, on, on the side of a riff, and then they, they get clobbered by Carmen San Diego. That'd be fine. Yeah. Maybe season two. Yeah. Season two. You never know. Maybe season two. Maybe season two. If, if, I'll tell you what. If season two begins with her saying, like, you know, wiping uh, uh, off some, like, uh, uh, you know, cell out in the desert and opening it up and saying, well, old friends, I've been looking for you for a long time. And then, mm -hmm. bop, oh, do, oh, do, oh, up. like, I'm in. <laughs> I'm watching episode one of season two. Yeah. Was that your impersonation of bop? Uh, yeah, it, it, we it, definitely it both always, started. It always Mbop. comes out. And it, what's funny is I wanted to almost you do that said, because yeah. I, I think there was an Mbappe yeah. uh, aspect oh, yeah. to it. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> I know. Fucking play, play Rockapella from Garment San Diego. It begins with an Mbappe. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> yep, yep. There it yeah. is. There it is. I forgot those whips. Wow. Because <laughs> she's definitely a criminal. We've got to bring her to justice for the sins that she's made. Stealing historical artifacts, that's not cool, and we know it. Let's not celebrate this thievery. Moral relativism is killing our society. <laughs> uh, I have literally not heard that song like since I was a kid. We're and not cool with, with cultural appropriation. That's true. <laughs> wow. Uh, oh. that, that was a that was in a brand new way to reintroduce that that song. <laughs> uh, Firebrand uh, it has the same thought I have. Uh, like uh, if 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 Carmen San Diego's bad. Then, then that goes for Indiana Jones, because he but run he, around stealing, but, looting. But no, but he's bringing them to the museum, yeah. which is what Carmen San Diego does now. In the reboot, yeah. where they fucking whitewash her fucking war well, I mean, but, but also like <laughs> her personal collection in the original could have been thought of as a, uh, a museum of sorts. No, she's stealing shit. Hmm. Mm. I mean, I guess, okay, yeah. If you're going to view through the lens of this Netflix reboot mm -hmm. that all of society is corrupt and she is the only spire of conscience in a totally dystopic society, then yes, her, her morals have always been consistent. Oh, man, CC Auto. 
chain of our existence, and only Car- only Carmen San Diego sees its flaws. She is fucking Rowdy Roddy Piper, and they live. <laughs> CC Auto is describing the movie Hitchcock, I believe. Not uh, painting yeah, not the moon been... with their logo. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, Lobro, you you were uh, free free to hang out as long as you want, but also <laughs> yeah yeah we're we're, we're we now in. Let us keep you if you need to go. Oh no, but... I don't need to go anywhere. I, I'm, okay, I mean, good. Wait, wait here, if you're sticking you, around, unless you're like, hey Lobro, you need to get the shit no, out of here. No, you're, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> I'm gonna go <laughs> grab another beverage. Like, like, if you're cool, we're now into the fucking like we're just. Horseshitting cool. around and yeah, not yeah. trying to be funny or a good show. I'm enjoying it. I just know literally nothing about Carmen San Diego. <laughs> wait, wait, so what the, I the reboot <laughs> has a two part origin story. Uh y'all are y'all are sleeping on it. Y'all are sleeping on apparently. it. Apparently. Well, apparently they're deciding uh, okay. Okay. Uh, hey, by the way, there's a great new reboot of Star Wars where uh, uh, Darth Vader is shown to be the coolest guy ever, and really, the the Resistance was a bunch of pieces of shit. It's an anti-hero story, not a good. Uh, uh, uh. Just Justin, saying. am I am I to uh, ascertain from this that you're not a fan of the new Star Wars story? Uh, well, I, I, I'm I'm. No, I, I like the new. No judgment, uh, just curious. No, no, I, 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 I like, I like the new um, trilogy, like the the titled ones, like the the numbered ones. I like right. seven and I like eight. Uh, I was not a fan of uh, Rogue One or really Solo. That's literally, as a diehard Star Wars fan, okay, I just have to like dive into this for a second. As a diehard Star Wars fan, someone who's grown up with it, I almost kind of felt the opposite, like. Like, I actually felt like Rogue One was incredible, but, like, I felt like there was something missing from 7 and 8. I don't know. Um, I, I, I need to seven, get into seven, this right seven, now. 7 and 8, I, I will say, do strain on the fact that you have to plug into a gigantic mm-hmm. uh, yeah. uh, guys that people have a lot of very strong feelings about. Yeah. So Which, as someone like, who has not seen a lot of Star Wars, that's why I like 7 and 8 more than Solo, which was very much heavy on on okay. a character yeah. I don't I, I, ha- haven't seen a lot of. And that's the thing is like 7 I liked but I understood as like all right this is a fairly sure base hit considering the fact that they are rebooting a franchise that is worth billions of dollars <laughs> right so it's like this is not the time to take risks this is not the time to surprise people this is the time to show that hey we can still cook stew Look, it's Stu, uh, uh, and everybody will rejoice. And I liked it for for what it was. I think it hit the beats that it needed to hit. But I wrote off the fact that it wasn't exactly daring. I loved it because it, like, it felt to me like the Star Wars novels, like the like 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 the Thrawn trilogy, where it's like the it took- trilogy was so good. I know. And that, and that's what to me like eight felt like. It felt like Star Wars, uh, uh, fiction, like from that era where it's like let's take these pieces and we'll move them around in like really bold and really cool sort of places. And so mm-hmm. that's why I really dug the uh, uh, the sky the Luke stuff, and I yeah. really dug the fact that they iced uh, uh, what's his butt. Uh, uh, for the sake of advancing the Kylo Ren. Snoke? Uh, yeah, yeah, they ice Snoke. Because Snoke was, I mean, like, fucking uh, uh, burnt-ass emperor, right? Like, he was just kind of like this stand-in. And I, I think like that was them exiting that character at his highest importance. Uh, uh, oh, Justin, I, I don't comes. think Snoke's dead. He's Fan dead. theory right he's here. Dead. I don't think he's dead. I could be wrong, but I don't think he's dead. I mean, yeah, he, I, I, he I hope died he's very dead. unceremoniously. <laughs> I mean, here, here's all I'll say. Him dying at the point that he died almost certainly is the point in which people would care the most about that character dying. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yes, right now with the knowledge that we know, but what if they were to introduce knowledge about him that would, like, make him more pertinent to the entire story? There's ways that they can do that without him dying. Or, and True. No, that's a great point. That's yeah. a great point. 
Yeah, no, I agree. Like, yeah, like for, for that moment in in a, in a series that at that point had had very little surprises, like that movie gave us a lot, like the rarest of gifts, new Star Wars surprises. When had we had new Star Wars surprises? Certainly not the movies that we initially loved. Okay, we loved them. We got surprises there. It was not in one through three where literally like, oh, that kid becomes Darth Vader. <laughs> oh, I guess he did that for three movies. Oh, uh, uh, Obi Wan is Obi Wan. Yep, he was Obi Wan when we met him. God That's damn true. it, was Obi Wan when he when we left. Oh, the em- uh, Senator Palpatine becomes Emperor Palpatine. Yeah. Huh? Well, it's, I I definitely knew it because he was named the same. <laughs> Uh, cool. Well, I'm glad we were here for this amazing story where everybody is who we thought they were. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Uh, you guys want to do some more kick outs? We got we got some more kick outs. Yeah, dude. Out okay, outtakes. Bring out your kicks. <laughs> yeah. Who's this man? <laughs> it's me. Bring out your kicks. Your kicks. <laughs> your dead corporate corpses. Bring them out. That's we where that song them. "Ring Around the Kit Kat" came from. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. This is uh... ashes, ashes, the new flavor from Kit Kat. It's ashes, <laughs> real human ashes. ashes. <laughs> we partnered with uh, Living Trust Dying with Dignity uh, Hospice, oh. and we bring you. Uh, you can taste the despair in every ashy corpse. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's wow. It's. Okay. Wow. Sort of like uh, I got everything I was going to get out of that by even taking a step out, and those next four or five steps didn't really add to. No, it's like, no, flat. we got it. You even stepped out there. Yeah. That's I saw you. Oh, she just oh. come on back in. Yeah, yeah. come on back. It's what? cold out there. It's cold out there, it's baby. A, if you're cold, card, they're cold. I really <laughs> can't stay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's a uh, question ten. Uh, we'll just play this. This is casual. We'll just play. Call it in. Uh, the flavor is whiskey, special edition real, real, flavor real. to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Yamazaki whiskey, milk chocolate infused with the distinct smoky flavor of Yamazaki whiskey. Justin says real. Yeah. Lumber, what do you think? Mm-mm. Not real. What? Not real. No, that's fake. Look, they named, okay, it's supposed to be like like this Japanese thing, right? Mm-hmm. And they're naming it like whiskey. 50th yeah. anniversary. Anniversary oh. is oh, you know what? spelled wrong. Actually, actually, anniversary is spelled wrong. Uh, of Yamazaki whiskey. No, also, more I'm importantly, whiskey is spelled wrong because yeah. Japanese it, whiskey apes the same thing that uh, Scotland does, and they have no e in their whiskey. Uh, Ireland has an e. Scotland does not. Japanese uh, copies uh, uh, Scotland and has no e. Interesting. So I wouldn't even know that. And That's he still agrees so that it's I, fake. I'll, I'll switch to fake. And you'll switch? Okay, all right. Yeah. Oh, oh, it lets me... Fix. I can be both. You yes. Can, I, no, I want that one. I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll break the dock. All right, this one is... Fake. Ooh, good save. Good call. Oh. Good call Hello, bro. Uh, I, I, I owe you one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, here we go. Uh, Tokyo banana, bringing two great snacks together. Dis- this distinctive, subtle banana flavor of Tokyo banana is enveloped in the Kit Kat chocolate, moist yet crispy. Cute banana is engraved as an accent. Tokyo banana. I, Real. I want to say no, but my first instinct is saying yes. I'm going to say yes on this one. Mm. But you my got me. This is real. Tokyo but banana, baby. He is saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. That joke has been canceled. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say that that is real. You're also going to say real. This it's one is. Totally real. real. Yeah. yeah. Tokyo banana. Uh, Tokyo banana must be another candy flavor the way it's talked talked about there. Man, Tokyo banana sounds an awful lot like Tokyo breakfast. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to Google that. And we'll move on to the next one. Just- can. Definitely can. I just want to try Tokyo banana now. I mean, it's definitely not something that people should to, should know existed. Or... It's a weird. It's a weird. Why is that weird? You don't like banana? No, no. no. Are you banana is great. Just like Potassium pineapple on pizza. I mean, I'm no, down. I'll tell you what, uh, Lobro. Would you have? Could we stop right now? <laughs> And just have you, you just go full screen on Lobro doing a reaction video 
watching Tokyo Breakfast. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we don't have to. I've we don't never have heard to. of this, so I have no idea. So here we go. You just uh, Google Tokyo Breakfast. Oh no. Okay. It's not. It's nothing gross. It's, it's nothing, nothing gross. gross. It sounds gross the way you're talking about it. Yeah. Okay. And the way I'm thinking what it would be. Tokyo Breakfast. Yeah. There's like three videos. It's the, probably the like the one from 2008. Yeah. Yes. I've never seen this, and this from two. Okay. Well, let's let's see what happens. And, and Bryce just put up a low bro react. Tokyo Breakfast. To Tokyo <laughs> Breakfast. All right. Wait. One, one second. One second. We're grinding some some coffee beans yeah. or something. Or you're watching All the right. right one. All right. Okay, he's like making coffee or something. <laughs> I'm already. I, I don't even know what's happening, dude. <laughs> I'm playing the script. Oh wait, maybe. Are you able to hear what they're saying? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Did he literally say "Good morning to you," N word? <laughs> <gasps> of course you'd have me watch this. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. I can't. <laughs> the next guy. Hold on, I gotta rewind. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> My face already hurts, Justin. <laughs> I can't laugh anymore. It's a. Uh, I've never. Oh, uh, what, uh, what a wonderful gift we've given. <laughs> Hold on, here, here. I've watched an official forty-six seconds. Siri, remind me to Google Tokyo breakfast video. when I get home. Man, this a stock of market is one okay, unpredictable. I'll remind you when you arrive at home. <laughs> I literally can't watch. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. That's good enough. Oh, oh jeez, oh. my face hurts from laughing, dude. I'm already, I already hurt. Oh, ah, Jesus. my little low bro. I'm saving this. How do I not know about these things? Was oh. I born vacuum? I don't know. Uh, uh, no, you just haven't, uh, b become a part of our cult. Apparently <laughs> not. Uh, yet. Just kidding. It's not a cult. Hashtag not a cult. Oh my goodness. Uh, all right. Well, here's one that might be better than whatever Tokyo breakfast is. How about? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Yeah. He's not. Seen I don't it. know what this is. Uh, can you watch it on your phone? Uh, with e okay, e e sure. e or, or, or or with earbuds no, or something. No, 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 no. You want to know what? Oh, no. We're saving this. We're saving this like 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 like, like a fine wine. I, we will be able. We I will wanna, always be able to go back to Bryce. I don't want to oversell the bit. Tokyo breakfast. I don't want to oversell the bit. I feel like uh, oh, this is a surefire win whenever we want it. There's never, dude. That video is so old, and if he hasn't seen it, Bryce, you had to promise to us that you'll I, never watch it by yourself, though. Sure, I can delete that reminder that I said. <laughs> well, I mean, for, I mean wait, for the bit, I, 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 I find waiting. If we, I can pull out the Bluetooth headphones and listen. I, I, yeah, I would say, I would say, just run with it because, because, uh, uh, the the more expectations there are for an outsized reaction from Bryce, uh, I think the. The I mean, I I think this is one of those things. I, I, the only reason why I would say not now mm -hmm. is just because Lobro is is in watch mode, and we can keep feeding Lobro <laughs> things that we know will make his face hurt Fuck. so hard that it'll fall off. Uh, we are we are in a process there. Uh, uh, we we can okay. save this because I, we always know Bryce will be there, and we always know he will have the reaction that we're gonna get right now. I I feel like it's gonna get blown out of proportion, and we'll we'll just set ourselves up for disappointment. I, I, oh, all right, all right, but just so we know, I am saying this is this is gold. This is Patreon gold. Fallout shelter because it, it has, has a half life of forever. Like uh, uh, we're we're burning it now. There's Go. always money right. in the banana stand, man. So, 
Tokyo Breakfast? Yep, I'm Tokyo Breakfast, now. yeah. You can only see Tokyo Breakfast once, though. <laughs> okay. Well, that's... Hey, uh he's already just heard him. All right, go ahead. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, here we go. I've... <laughs> Uh, it's this six-minute video on YouTube. That sounds right. Does it begin with breakfast in what looks like Tokyo? All right. Let's Somebody's uh, grinding coffee beans. This is a... Uh... Ooh, I just saw the description. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> He's got the right one. Dun 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 Ha 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 ha. Uh, son is working. Uh, or no, no, no. Dad, dad is making breakfast. Son walks in with the newspaper. Is it? Is it a one note joke for six minutes? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> she didn't. Audio listeners, it's a bit like watching the RCA dog tilt its head, <laughs> listening to the phonograph. Oh, please don't be. <laughs> Try, <laughs> trying to make sense. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Who would even make this? What is the purpose of this? This is very expensively made. <laughs> They're not even doing anything. They're just... <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> I forgot that they do attempt to have a punchline at the end of it. <laughs> Here, I'm going to peek and see how far <laughs> Bryce is into this. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the, even... The, gra the granddad doesn't even have a Japanese accent at all. <laughs> <sighs> I think he's at the end. Uh, no, there's still three minutes left. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, has the daughter shown up yet? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go make a drink while he watches. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that seems prudent. <laughs> I want to know the story of who made this and and <laughs> and how he reacted to the James Gunn getting fired. <laughs> oh, you're you're muted. I can't hear you. Uh, uh, MDA UK says, so three minutes in, it's so racist, but to who? <laughs> Japanese? The black people? All oh. of West culture? <laughs> I mean, is it is it meta-racism? Is it post-racism? Is it, uh... uh I mean, it really all changes if we find out a white guy wrote it, right? Oh, I, I, I'm almost certain a white guy wrote it. I, I remember reading up on it. <laughs> Oh my god. I just read who fucking wrote it. <laughs> uh oh, is it somebody famous? Uh no, it's somebody named <laughs> Just go just go and click on that IMDB link and <laughs> find out who wrote and directed it. Uh 
Here, I'm gonna open this up. I'm not gonna look at that. Oh, geez. <laughs> well, that's a name. <laughs> also, currently rated uh, higher than hacking the system. <laughs> Tokyo breakfast is? I believe so. I think, I think, <laughs> what, what is hacking the system at? I can't even tell when this was made. This is in widescreen. But... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Nope. Hacking the system beats it by one tenth of oh, a point. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> the punchline. Oh. <laughs> God, what is, why did I, who would go, this is a big to do. <laughs> you have to put a lot of time, money, and effort into doing this. Hollywood money. Hollywood Hollywood talent. made this. This is a big to do, he says. Oh. Oh. Uh, apparently it was two guys that at least worked on the onion movie does have a very onion flavor. <laughs> the guy's it name has, Jesus. Like, it has an oniony especially onion 08 before before people could get canceled on Twitter. Oh uh, yeah, uh, but be uh, before five. even the onion apologized for a tweet. Remember there was that uh, yeah. controversy where I want to say at the Emmys or or the Oscars they say uh, oh this is that actress uh, so and so who's 8 years old. What a cunt. Uh, the joke, of course, being that 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 you would never say that or think that or, or you know, it's only yeah. because she's so obviously is a delightful little child. Sure. But uh, but uh, it didn't matter. Uh, they, they, they they buckled to the uh, to to uh, that. That was the first like, will... Twitter wave of, yeah. of, of outrage that I I think I ever saw. I want to say uh, you guys know Quora, Quora dot com where yeah, people sure. can ask stuff. There is a web. There was Tokyo Breakfast real or staged? <laughs> Stay what? What? <laughs> it wasn't a documentary. If that's what proof, you thought, <laughs> proof that Tokyo Breakfast was a hoax. <laughs> <laughs> Loose <laughs> in words. <laughs> God. Oh no. No, I'm not co-signing that joke. I'm not laughing. At Hot that. yeah. <laughs> Hot yeah. <laughs> No. Hot, hot no. Hot no. A, a very hot, hot no. Hot, hot no. Nah. Big no. Big mad no oh. on that one. Uh, filmed in Canada. Look at that. Oh man. Jesus. All oh. right. Well, be people want people like uh, now they just people want to share. Uh, we have a uh, listen. We have a delightful community of cats, and occasionally they bring the best dead birds. Mwah. Well, would okay, you like? Let me, let me just say this, Lobro. Congratulations. You're a part of our family now because <laughs> rarely have we had a guest that A has been in this in tune with the show, has found the show this funny, that our audience has said, No, 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 no. We will give him the highest honor and just show him our treasures. They just want you <laughs> to come down to our crypt and 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 inspect <laughs> the, the, the uh, uh, pelts we have brought back from shows past. And so people just want to show you viral videos uh, that we have uncovered. Uh, uh, some, some, uh, all right. Now, here, here's a decision, decision Gates. <clears throat> Cat, crack, or dogs pumped? Mm. I don't even know what that you get to, You get to pick. Uh, uh, we, uh, you know what? Let's let Lobro choose. Right. We can either cat watch dog. cat, cat crack. Dog. Cats or dogs? Cats or dogs? Cats or dogs? Which do you have? Do you have a cat or a dog? Wait, wait, which do I have or which do I choose? This uh, yeah. is an important choose. question. Which do you choose, cats yeah, or dogs? Dogs. Dogs, mm. okay. Mm -mm -mm. What's Japanese for you have chosen wisely? <laughs> I, have uh, no, I don't know. Uh, oh, uh, I hardly even understand what's happening. Damn, okay? No, I don't know it. It's not Maru, but it's close to Maru. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, so we're, we're doing this thing, huh? All right. Uh, by the way, okay. congratulations. Okay. Welcome to the rest of the after show. <laughs> Watching video. <laughs> oh, <fuck laughs> this is so good. Konnichiwa. My daughters lost their minds Konnichiwa. when they saw this. Real ultimate power Kenkyushin no character. This time, you no have to send a message to your eye. I have a message to your eye. Please. Oh, 
どう締めてください<笑>私は科学者です<笑>どうも<笑>ありがとうございます Is this Dr. Disrespect? Jesus. <laughs> It does look like him, huh? <laughs> Ginger! Sasha! Duke! Coco! Buster! Power, Real man. Ultimate power. Oh, I, wow. how is that only at 150,000? I don't know. <laughs> That's still a gem. Half of those are us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely. Half like, of those are live us. on the show. Not even our community, just literally the four of us. <laughs> <laughs> My face muscles hurt. Oh, every one of these. Well, you better relax them, mister, <laughs> because we're not even close to getting started. Do we do the classic? I think the classic is is pretty classic. I I, I guess we, here here's the game. Here's the game we play. Okay, is the moment he's seen one, it's all over. So we got. He's figure. definitely not seen the classic. Okay. Then the classic it will be. <laughs> I'm a bikey man from a bikey gang Living in my crack den, making crack I love killing, thieving, and extortion Give me 20 bucks, I'll give you an abortion I love cocaine And selling it to kids I charge 50 for an ounce And my dad used to fuck me rippity d. When I'm sniped I'm sorry, from what? a rival gang So give me the drugs or I'll go bang I'm a real rough bloke, I'll murder your wife So give me the drugs or you'll be in strife Oh no! He's got the drop on me, but lucky I got a trick up my sleeve. Bang! Biggity bang! A bigger bang bang, biggity, biggity bang! And a shoot, 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 put a bullet in your head. Bing, bam, boom, and he's effing dead. Stop right there, I'm a crooked cop. Give me a bribe or your drugs will stop. F you! Oh, you gangsters are such big roughies. I'm gonna put you in handcuffy. Oh no! It's the boys in blue! What the hell am I gonna do? Bang! Shoot, 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 put a bullet in your head Bing, bam, boom, and he's effing dead Well, hello there, I'm just a passerby And I just... Bang! Bang, 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 bang And shoot, 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 put a bullet in your head Bing, bam, boom, and he's effing dead I, 
I, I think this is the first time I've seen Auntie Donna not land with with a friend. <laughs> I think I think that that's the uh, the the spell has been broken. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know how to make heads or tails of that video. Uh, apparently, there was a uh, much as America fell in love with uh, Breaking Bad um, or um, Sons of Anarchy. There was a show called Bikey Wars in Australia that was uh, like a Sons of Anarchy. Uh, they called it Sorry, them, Bikey Wars. That's right. Was, the, the, yep, Bikey well, Wars. Bikey Wars was their Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. Yep, version. that's correct. And so <laughs> about bikey gang bikey violence. Wars. And so they took they took the actual story of Bikey Wars. <laughs> And trivialized it into <laughs> into that musical, so they called it Bikey Wars the Musical. <laughs> Bikey Wars. Yeah, we didn't know it wait, either. Wait, yeah. hold on, hold on. That was a serious video. Yeah. Oh, oh no, because because uh, uh, in in Australia that's what they call them. Uh, uh, they're serious. They they extort. They sell drugs. Uh, they're they're thieving criminals. They're they're a mafia element that brings violence to the land. They're called bikey gangs, a bikey man and a bikey gang living yeah. in a crack den making crack. Yeah. Loves okay, that video was not funny. Give him fifty bucks, he'll give you an abortion. <laughs> I mean, these are all real things that <laughs> happen with bikey gangs. Yes. That video wasn't funny until I got context. Okay, just so you know. <laughs> Uh, that, <laughs> Here, yeah, I, I, I will. I will admit that that like we found it curious and funny, but then the more we learned, the more we fell in love with that Australian comedy troupe. Um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. And by the way, L.A. Oh, is uh, when? When is that? Your shit open this summer. I have no idea. You literally know as much as I do, so don't reveal right. anything. Mm. Uh, more than I know. <clears throat> God, now, now, I now all I want to do is dive into it. On, where is that grapefruit video? <laughs> oh, no, no, wait. Okay, grapefruit or cat crack? Mm. What, what, what does Bryce have uh, queued up? N neither of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think a grapefruit is is a quick hit. Man, if if, if we're gonna do gra grapefruit, I'm gonna go get another beverage. <laughs> Uh, Wait, what's wrong with grapefruit? Nothing's wrong with grapefruits. Uh, in fact, I hear it's great. I hear uh, grapefruit. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, wait. So if, if we say we're uh, if we say we're going to show you the grapefruit video, do you know what we're talking about or not? I actually have no idea. Oh wow! See, because this one was popular enough, I thought if any of oh, them... you thought this was going to be a game break, <laughs> I thought he would have known it for sure. Justin's reaction to me not knowing what the video was is this. He's, he's like. No, <laughs> I, I, I actually did a reverse Nosferatu. <laughs> Nosferatu. Uh, wait, he walked away. Is it, I don't know if that means he's coming back to watch this. Or... No, 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 no. It means he doesn't want to be here while Lobro watches. It. Oh yes, because of <laughs> My the name video. Is literally, Lobro watch for a reason. The, yeah, because <laughs> right, of the video that this is. All right, here we go. <laughs> She's back. Now, this is my bonus technique, the grapefruit. Normally, you can only get this technique in one of my classes, but I wanted to share this with you because I believe every man should get grapefruited. When you grapefruit your man, it's going to feel as if you are giving him head and fucking him at the same time. No better feeling would he ever get than being grapefruited. So what you need to do is you need to, of course, have a grapefruit. You want to make sure you get the ruby red, it's sweeter, and it's easier. If you are allergic to grapefruit or can't use a grapefruit for your medication, you can always use a large navel orange. Now, what you want to do is make sure the, the, the grapefruit is room temperature. All you have to do is put it in warm water. Do not microwave it. Do not boil it. Then, once it gets to that temperature, all you need to do is roll it. The reason why you want to roll it is because you want to juice it up a little bit. The juicier, the better. And what you're going to do is you're going to find the navel. There's two navels to the grapefruit. Once you do that, you're going to place it on the plate, and the navel's on the outside. You want to take a knife, and I you actually concerns. want to cut one side. No, pause it. Pause it off. here. Pause it here. Now, all uh, uh, So, Lobro, you've <laughs> yes. never seen this video. I've this never is, seen this video. I, but, but I will assume that you, like me, when I first watched this video, learned a lot about grapefruits. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've learned zero facts about grapefruit. Well, so you far. learned that they've got two navels got and you navels. can roll them to make them juicier. Mm. I'm sorry. I didn't know that you were a grocer by trade and you knew all these things. Me, a simple podcast man, <laughs> I, I did not. Uh, uh, but, but, but what are your concerns? Me, a simple podcast. <laughs> I can't. Podcast My face hurts already from la- from laughing. Uh, the the most I know about grapefruit is grapefruit LaCroix, okay? Okay, yeah, hey. Buddy. I mean, sure. I mean, I like to call it pomplamoose, but I'm... Pomplamoose, exactly! <laughs> Holy shit, he's drinking LaCroix! If anyone is from my channel and you're in chat right now, can you use the LaCroix emote? Thank you. You have a anyway, LaCroix continue. emote? <laughs> I have a LaCroix emote, dude! <laughs> Hold on, it's called Cheers. Oh my god! Yeah, there we go. I'm mean, just saying. Oh, that is. My boys for life. Anyway, uh, uh, so so uh, <laughs> I learned a lot about uh, how a grapefruit works. Uh, do you have any guess on where this is going? I have zero idea. Everything uh, so, seems so, very sexual right now, and I don't know why. All right, so so it does seem very sexual. Uh, 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 Take a wild guess. Just just one, like, literally four words where this is going to go. Just take a guess. Justin, if I were to guess, I li- literally, I don't even know where I'd go with it. I have no idea. Even my wildest ideas, I'm like, I I, I don't have any. I, uh, I don't have right. any. And that's okay. weird. You Play the video. That's fine. Okay. Then they Low go on. Watches. Now, all this that you're doing, he would not see any of this preparation because I'm going to tell you that a little bit later. It's a trick. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take it to the other side and do the same thing. You're just cutting the navels off. So you should have a grapefruit that has two sides missing just like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put a hole in the middle of the grapefruit. No! Approximately the size <laughs> of the do not make it too big. Do not make it too tight. Just approximate. Then what you want to do is you're going to take the knife midway down and make sure it goes all the way through. All you want to do is make a nice hole in the middle of the grapefruit. Now, if you take it and make it too big, that's okay, because you can always squeeze your hands like the muscles of your vagina. <laughs> and if you make it too tight, all you have to do is take your finger and push the flesh back. It's just grapefruit. <laughs> now, when you grapefruit your man, he has to be blind. All right, pause it, pause it, pause it. All right, all right, all right. Lobro, <clears throat> what if we told you we haven't even got to the good <laughs> the part? Good part. <laughs> <laughs> you guys... Can I just say one thing? I don't know what's going on here, but you guys are savoring the shit out of this right now. It's it's rare we get fresh meat, uh, and we're very excited about it. Also, by the way, we've been doing this shit since Justin TV. (laughs) (laughs) 11 years. 11 years. For real. That's actually fucking awesome, though. So, like, serious serious side note congrats to you guys for doing that for so long because that's awesome uh this is why we've gathered so many treasures we've gathered so many so many prizes. we're like we're, we're like the, the 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 crazy character at the uh middle of the second act that that brings the hero into their crazy cave and, and shows them the garbage they've collected and then yep. also accidentally gives them the backdoor entrance to the castle <laughs> Speaking and of, my face hurts, and Brian. Go. Stop. And go. When you came to the bedroom with a grapefruit. What is your man gonna say? What are you gonna do with that? Is it gonna burn and all that other thing? So you don't want any of that. So this is what you do. Say, baby, you know what? Tonight I want to do something a little freakier. And I'm like, dick <laughs> blindfolded. Your man will blindfold himself if he knows he's gonna get some head. So now your man is in the bed. You have the grapefruit already prepared under the bed. He smelled the citrus in the air. He thinks you have on some Victoria's Secrets or something. He has no idea. And what you're going to do is be a woman of your word. Now, you have to get his penis erect. So what you're going to do is just suck his dick. That's like the shit you're going to do. Once he's nice and erect, what you're going to do is replace the grapefruit from your mouth. The fucking sound. Up and down on his shaft and suck the head at the same time. Kill it, kill it. I'm tapping angle. out. <laughs> now, ladies, it's remember, done. Great food is also a fat burner, so you're actually losing weight while you're sucking his dick. I literally now, choked on my Once you're doing this technique, it feels amazing record, to him, okay. but he still has no idea what you're doing. Oh. What you want to tell your man to do is this. Yeah. <sighs> oh. So. Literally choked on my drink. <laughs> All right, let's get uh, a, a little lighter, a little lighter. 
How about the thing that's a one of a kind? All right. <laughs> but we 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 got to go out on this. We're we're yeah. way past the, the Dirks rule. Oh, no, 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 come on. But the new Dirks is- rule is when uh, the party's over when we show her new documentary. And then then, then you know that... The, the, oh, yeah. the- oh, we show all an uh, hour and a half of uh, <laughs> okay. uh, Joey Ryan, this is wrestling. That's the new Dirks rule. Oh, hey, no. by the way, if anybody's thinking about going to StarCast in Las Vegas, you should go because Katie Dirks' documentary is screening there, and it's amazing. I've seen it. It's great. All right, there we go. Here we go. Report. Oh. Special report. Armed with the Rover Pup. One cat is on the loose and a ticket to crack. Cat crack. Cat crack. One cat is loose and addicted on crack. Cat crack. <laughs> cat crack. <laughs> cat crack. What? He's freebasing your crack. Ooh, yeah. You can see him smoking crack up on a daily grind. Okay, are you ready for the best part? This shit was an ad. <laughs> it was. It was. It, what? It was an ad for a Wi-Fi portable hotspot called the Rover Puck. No. <laughs> they <boy>. pulled it. <laughs> they pulled it, and our community saved it. Uh, they tried to erase it from the internet, and our community said, Try. "Oh no. yes, I just noticed the name on this. Yes, that's Blender MF. Yes, crack. We, we we kept crack cat crack alive. They cat pulled crack oh, because my we God, made oh, it live. I totally you guys did have found some of the most obscure <laughs> moments on the internet, oh. and you have made a like a, a killing using, <laughs> and that's uh, fantastic. Apparently, the Rover Puck from Clearwire." Made it possible to have a Wi-Fi hotspot wherever you were. And apparently it's great for <laughs> cats who are addicted to crack who want to be armed with them. Was that – that wasn't a Rhett and Link thing though, right? Nope. No. That, that was that was an independent oh – God, I – That's someone? our new quest is to track down – can we do like an hour-long documentary? Who did cat crack? Because it almost sounds like an auto to the news sort of thing. Right. Because of how well made it is. Well, and 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 you could tell that they spent money. You could, they apparently had like some ooh, traditional ads, ooh, 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 ooh. and then somebody said, "Hey, you know what goes wild on the internet are crazy, crazy ads. Can we do a crazy ad?" And they said, mm. "Sure. Here's ten grand." <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, I mean, nice. I mean, I'm assuming. I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sure. So, if we're gonna go out on one. <laughs> If, if we're going to go out on one, what's the one we go out on? Well, I mean, I mean, it's got to be one of our own creation, right? One, this one, one needs context, though, I think. Um, hey, uh, Lobro, is, is spam a good thing or a bad thing? I used to think that, hey, Lobro was going to come out with, like, good results. But every time <laughs> you've said that, I've been scared of the answer. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I love spam. Like, uh, literally, oh. I will eat IRL spam. Oh, 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 no. oh, oh, Breaking oh, oh, news. Oh, oh, oh. We're, we're, we're talking about we're talking about the unwanted emails in your inbox. Oh, yeah. I understand. I'm just saying. I eat spam. I like spam. Okay, no, the food's great. The food's great, but 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 personally, I think that you know those unwanted emails they they take your time. Aggressive, aggressive, too much. In fact, like let's say theoretically, okay, I'm just gonna make up a fake science fiction scenario. Let's say that uh, you were sponsored by a email filter, and you got over aggressive about how you, to advertise them, and you instead decided to say that spam was. I mean, I'm just making shit up here. A a rapist. No, you're not. In, insert insert. You know whatever evil thing you could think of. Well, here I I, I think we have the footage. Uh, are we able to roll that? Yeah. Yeah. Here, here you guys are shitheads. I knew exactly what was happening. <laughs> Cute. Just man. fucking By the way, play spam the video. Is a rapist sounds like a dance song. <laughs> is that you? Oh yes? my god! How old are you with this? Twelve. <laughs> Spam is a rapist. 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 Spam is a rapist.
Hey, so uh, we were fired for this. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, we were Almost. scheduled to be fired. Schedule firing, scheduled for firing. They scheduled us to fire us for that, and then they they got the sponsor. They didn't tell us. We this is after the fact. Inside sources uh, said there was a calendar item that said fire Justin and Brian, and uh, we were told we were going to have a conference call with the sponsor MailRoute, and uh, uh, we got on the line and. Uh, they're like, uh, hey, so we, uh, you know, we, uh, 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 hey, it's me, important person at the network. Um, you know, I, I just wanted to get you on the phone with the guys responsible for that ad. And they said, oh, good, because we love how creative you guys are. And it's just amazing. We think you guys are the best. And we're so happy that we sponsor you. Um, going forward, though, uh, you know, uh, we've already talked about Hitler. So no Hitler. But also, let's add to that list, no rapist comments. And you you two kiddos keep doing whatever you're doing. And then important person in the network says, yeah, that's why I wanted to have this call, because they're so great, these two. <laughs> they're, they're real great. And I guess we're stuck with them for a little bit longer. <laughs> this is a joke, right? Nope. No. Uh, no. Congratulations to you guys. That's actually fucking awesome. Seven. Literally, literally <laughs> what oh. happened. Uh, uh, and if I weren't this drunk, I would tell more truths about this network, yeah. except for the fact that literally every other time that I've been drunk and I've told truth about this network, <laughs> I do very angry DMs from the person who runs this network. Oh, this was six years ago. Six years ago? I can't believe it. That's right. Oh, my God. So six uh, years ago, Justin was 12, but now he's mid-40s. That's right. right. I'm 77. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It's been a rough six years, dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I cannot thank you enough, Lobro, for joining us. Uh, this has been the, fan the, the best time. Uh, you, you are family forever and ever and ever, man. Uh, one more time, Lobro Watch on Twitter, on Twitch, excuse me. Yes. Oh, no, I mean, come on, look. Go give him a follow. If you are here right now, literally, I'm not talking about in general, but people who are in the chat right now, and you are not following Lobro Watch, honestly, fuck you. <laughs> Wait, hold on, that's not, that's, he says that's honestly, true. Brian, so. No. That, that's how I know that, he's serious. Watch our, like, our, our greatest hits. Like, we made him watch Tokyo Breakfast Cold. <laughs> like, if, if anything is worth a follow, it He's is. He's earned your follow. Watch Tokyo Breakfast Cold. He's earned your follow. He's good people. Uh, man, thank you to everybody. Uh, uh, dude, you guys are the best. We're going to shut down the stream, but Lobro, hang around uh, so we can apologize to you in person <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Personally apologize. Good night, everybody. I sleep alone I try to find love from a stranger on my phone My vision blurry So I forget Dying to hold you but you left me for dead